from afar, this looks like a normal bus. One that you'd find in any British city, transporting travellers from A to B with a tank full of diesel. But these are not ordinary buses. These are powered by hydrogen, and they've been running residents around the city for the last two years. Well, they're a very good fit for us because we have, uh, we have like many other cities, we have air quality issues. And in particular, as you see behind me, we have a, a very busy harbour right in the middle of town. And, and while it's wonderful, it does give us some problems in air quality with uh, you know, diesel emissions. So we thought that hydrogen buses would help us to tackle that problem in the city. And also, you know, profile as a very much a go-ahead city in, in the world. The buses depend on fuel cell technology to work which is a completely different process to the traditional combustion of diesel that we're used to. Hydrogen enters into the electrochemical cell where it gets hit into a catalyst and splits off into its atoms where you have two hydrogen atoms as protons and two electrons. The two protons then go through forwards into a membrane whereas the electrons cannot pass through this. The electrons instead get fed through a circuit which is where you get your power required for the bus. The hydrogen itself is produced on site with electrolyzers, which use a DC current to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. Despite the complex fuel cell technology, there's something rather familiar about refueling the fleet. The process of refueling a hydrogen bus is very similar to your conventional bus refueling. The nerf clamp is used to connect up the earth. You then connect your nozzle, turn that on, go over to the panel, hit start, and the system is then automated. Once the system sees 300 bar in the bus, it automatically shuts down, the driver can then remove the nozzle and be on their way. This particular system takes about 20 minutes and we fill about 30 kilograms in each particular bus. Aberdeen is paving the way for other cities to move towards hydrogen fueled public transport and the Scots ambition proves that driving on air is no longer just a pipe dream. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.